So check this out. Let me show you guys how to create a pseudo user account within Rocky Linux. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to show you guys how to set up new users with pseudo privileges on Rocky Linux. Now, typically most of my server videos have been made using Ubuntu. And it was pointed out to me in my comment section that I should do a few more videos showing you guys how to do certain things in rail. Well, I won't use rail because Rocky Linux is a one-to-one -one comparison. So I'll just use that for the examples. But just to explain, sudo access allows users to execute administrative commands without needing to be the root user. And it's done like this to enhance security and convenience. So let's go down and hop right into it because this shouldn't be that long of a video. And this is mainly for people that are just getting started. If you need to understand how to create a user account with pseudo privileges, you can reference back to this video. Now, also just to point out, I've done videos in the past showing you guys how to use the commands in this video. They work pretty much the same on rail Rocky Linux as in Ubuntu. So let's go down and hop over within my virtual machine that's running Rocky Linux eight and I can walk you guys through the full process. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm SSH'd into my Rocky Linux 8 server, and I used the root account to actually log into this server. And I wanted to just show you guys the current version, just so you guys can be aware. So as you can see, we're using Rocky Linux 8.8 .8 Green Obsidian. I believe it's up to date. I haven't ran any updates on it yet, but we'll test that out after we set up our new sudo account. And just to explain something as well, whenever you install Rocky Linux within the installer, it will allow you to create other pseudo accounts or accounts with administrative privileges. So I already have an account on here, but I just wanted to show you guys using the root account. You can do the exact same thing that I'm finna do using another pseudo account. You just have to type pseudo, you know, in order to run the commands that I'm gonna run. So let's go down and clear all right, so the first thing I wanna do is show you guys the man page for user add, which is the command we need to use in order to create the account. Cause the first thing you need to do is create the account and then add the permissions to it. So let's run man and I wanna show you guys user add, press enter. That'll give you all the information about the user add command. It shows you the options and all that good stuff. You can check it out, you know, at a later date. I just wanted to at least show you how to get some help if you need to for the user add command. So let's type user add and then the account we want to create is Paul. So user add Paul, that's the way, that's the syntax. That's how you actually create the account. So user add Paul, press enter and that will create the account. It'll create pretty much everything on the system for this account, like a mailbox, a local mailbox, as well as a home directory. It creates the home directory for you. All that good stuff for the account is done just by running this command. Now, right now, there isn't a password set for this account. So we have to set a password for it. And there's another command, and let's go to the main page for that, but it's pass wd. And this will open up that manual for you. So it basically covers this command, you know, all the details about this command. And so you, it's a built-in utility. So in all Linux distributions, the password command that will allow you to create a password for the account that we just created. So all we have to do is type P-A-S-S-W-D and then Paul. And this will allow us to set a password for that specific account. And let's go down and press enter. Boom, it says chat changing password for user Paul. All we have to do is type in whatever password we want to set for that account. Type it in twice. Boom, we're good to go. So right now we have the account created. We have a password set for that account. And so now the user can log in. But right now the user doesn't have those pseudo privileges. 
and let's actually test it out right fast all we have to do is type sue and i'm gonna do this a little later as well but let's log in to pause account and so sue and then let me move the mouse out the way but dash space paul and that will allow us to log into that account so let's press enter right now as you can see right there you'll see the difference we're logged in as paul at localhost so we're logged into that account using the suit command and so let's just run try to run something using sudo so sudo and let's just ls the directory that's an easy way of testing it out so ls dash la and then let's look at the root account or something like that let's boom and it's gonna access for a pseudo account and we can type in our password all day for it, but it'll say PA is not in the pseudo file. This incident will be reported. So that is logged in the system logs that an incident occurred. Essentially someone that doesn't have pseudo privileges tried to do something using, you know, the pseudo command. Now just go down and exit out of there and let's add Paul those permissions. And let me show you guys the other command and that is user mod. And actually let's go to the man page for it as well. So user mod and press enter and modify a user account. That's essentially what it is. You can check out the options that goes with this actual command, but let's clear the screen so I can bring everything back up to the top and you won't get confused, but let's type user mod and then dash A for basically append, and we want to append the group. So capital G is that option to append the group. And now we wanna add Paul to a specific group, which is the will group. So let's type that in, will. And will is basically the group that's built into the system that allows users to have pseudo privileges. So let's type will and then Paul for the account, we have to specify the account. We have to specify the group first, then the account second that we want to add to that group. And so let's go down and press enter, boom. And as long as you don't see any errors, that means it ran successfully, but we modified that user pop. And then we can verify this by typing another command. It's super simple, but it's the groups command. So we can type groups and then the account name and that will list out all the groups that this user is a part of so let's press enter as you can see it's part of the default group which is paul as well as the will group so we know that this account has pseudo privileges now now let's go down and go back into that account so sue dash paul and press enter and now we're logged back into that account. Let's press the up arrow. That way we could try to run that sudo command again. So let's run sudo ls dash and then the root account or root directory. Let's go down and type in our password for it, for our sudo password, which is our account password. Press enter. As you can see, we're not running into that error. We now have those privileges. And let's just run a couple other commands right fast. Let's run sudo dnf. And this is basically just to check for updates. Let's go down and run that. That way you guys can see something else running on the system using our pseudo account. So let's press enter. This will check to see if there are any updates for the system. This is something you could do whenever you're doing normal maintenance on your server. Just check to see what updates are out there. And then a lot of times what people do, they'll run the check updates. And let's say they only want to update specific, you know, packages they can select them or highlight them copy and paste them and then you can run the up update on just that specific package or let's say the kernel or module or something to that effect but if you want to run it against all of them at one time you know you check through them all they all look good to go you want to go down and patch the server then you can run sudo dnf and then updates and this will update all those packages on the server will ask you you know this is normal update stuff for the system so let's type y for yes it's okay to download that and i won't you know bore you guys with this that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys that that account actually works so i'll let these updates run in the background all right so there you have it you have successfully created a new user with pseudo access on 
Rocky Linux 8. Now remember to follow security best practices and choose strong passwords. And if you like more detailed information on setting up Rocky Linux 8 server, then you can check out the documentation on Rocky's website. So thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and leave questions or comments down below. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, keep protecting.